U.S. President Joe Biden is set to make his first trip to the Middle East as president. Biden will spend time in Israel, the West Bank, and Saudi Arabia. And the visit comes as high gas prices across the United States continue hitting American wallets and putting more political pressure on the president. VOS Jessica Stoll reports from Washington. Hello from Washington. Well, the spotlight is certainly on President Biden's visit to Saudi Arabia, especially because not long ago, he vowed to make Saudi Arabia a pariah state after a Saudi hit team murdered a Washington Post columnist. But high gas prices and stalled Iran nuclear talks have changed the calculus at the White House. In the nuclear talks, the U.S. and Saudi Arabia are on the same side of the negotiations, wanting more accountability for Tehran. The chief U.S. envoy to the talk says Iran is making more progress on enrichment and adding demands that are unrelated to the nuclear issue. When it comes to oil prices, though, Biden has said at the NATO leader summit that he won't make a direct ask of Saudi Arabia to increase oil production to offset price spikes brought on by global sanctions on Russia for the war in Ukraine. Biden will ask, he says, all Gulf states to increase production. Now, oil-producing countries have raised production by 648,000 barrels a day at this point, and Biden is telling Americans they will have to stomach higher gas prices for, quote, as long as it takes to beat back Russian President Vladimir Putin's foray into Ukraine. The specialists that we have at Brookings who are um, experts on this are very skeptical that even if the Saudis do everything we want them to do, it's really going to change significantly the price of oil. It may contain it at $5 a barrel, at $5 a gallon, but it's not likely to bring it down significantly. And in that sense, the administration is running a real political risk, because if he goes to Saudi Arabia and by September oil prices are still $5 a gallon, he's going to look like he failed. And that's not something that this administration wants on the eve of congressional midterm elections. Easing gas prices isn't Biden's only objective. He also wants to end the war in Yemen, which has caused widespread famine. And on that score, progress does appear to be much, much closer since the extension of a ceasefire until August. Back to you.